and I'm live. Thank God. Welcome back to some more Raiders franchise. Had a little bit of issues there. Um, so before we begin anything, we gotta do a little bit of update here because some Raiders players in real life change numbers. You know, a lot of the young guys changed up, so I had to change up in the game a little bit. And I realized Trey Tucker changed the number three times. He was has he's had three different jerseys since he signed with the Raiders. He was A9, 14 for like a day, and now he's number 11. <laughs> so, he's kind of hard to keep up to date with. A little bit, anyway. And 11's taken. Oh yeah, Dorsett has it. I cut Dorsett and got cut in real life. Ooh. How should I handle that then? I mean, Dorset didn't really play. Uh, yeah, he had nothing. You might know could do. Hold on, is he still a free agent? Because I might try to, you know, real life role play this. Let's see, um. Is he still. Did the game decide to just delete him? Let's see. I think the game decided to delete him. Because I don't see Christian Wilkerson. Damn. Okay. Yeah. That sucks. Or if he signed somewhere. He could have signed somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't see him. So, I don't see anybody, really. A lot of guys got delayed. And the CC era started. All right, let me see now. Wait, is Marcus Callaway a free agent? Because Raiders did add him to their practice squad. So is Callaway a free agent? Nope. Okay. Why is it Robbie Chosen? His name is Chosen Anderson. That's weird. Uh, I want to see if he's on another roster. Let's see real quick. Um, no, he's just gone. The game just snapped him out of existence like Thanos. Okay. He might return the offseason, though, because that tends to happen. So it's weird how Madden does it. They have, like, a select roster for preseason, delete a bunch of people, and then they're back available the next year. It's weird. I don't know why they just don't, don't keep that year-round. It would make more sense to me, anyway. But hey, um, so let's try and, so I guess we gotta kind of differently roleplay this a little bit here. Let's see. Or see with Derek Young, Matt Landers, uh, I kind of guessed a lot of the regular practice squad, not all of it, but I guessed a lot. Hmm, you know what, it, it's fine being the same for now. It's not that big of a deal. So that's over 14 for for now. Until I find I might put him I might put Dorset on the trade block. That's what I might do. Well I wonder if I can trade him straight from Marcus Callaway if he's on the uh, Broncos. <laughs> Let's test it. Uh I'm gonna add him to the trade block first. Uh Alright, uh, Broncos. Uh, wide receivers. Yep, there's Marquez Callaway. Would they accept this player for player trade? I'm curious. They did it! Bro! That's kind of cool. At least now I'm kind of doing this in real life. Dorset wasn't really playing with us, and now we have Callaway. Which is happening in real life. So, I'm not being unrealistic here. It wasn't a trade. But the Raiders released Dorsett, Broncos picked him up, Broncos released Callaway, the Raiders picked him up. So, this is just an indirect trade. I am honestly shocked that they did it. I don't, that went through just perfectly. That's shocking. What, what number is Callaway wearing? Uh, let's see, uh... 
Marquez Callaway. What number did the Raiders get him? Uh, he's wearing number. He wore number one with the Saints. I don't know what he wore done with us though. Uh, is our number one taken? I don't think it is. No, yeah, Marcus Epps has it. Never mind. Um, let's see. Three is available. That's kind of not a great wide receiver number, in my opinion. Seven. Eh. Uh, we have 12, 15. 15 could work. 18, that could work as well. You know what? He'll be number 15 for now. Do I know his real life number? And Tucker, he'll be 11. At least we're kind of being realistic here a little bit. You know, this is a realistic, you know, franchise I'm trying to do. At least, you know, that happened. It was really big on Dorsett anyway. He didn't really have the best preseason, so. It kind of works for our favor. Now we have Marcus Callaway on the team. Which I kind of like, you know, he's young. We could resign him. So we'll see how that goes. Let me just type it in real quick. Um... This, this, will he resign with us, though? Ooh, that franchise QB is gonna hurt. He likes the store change teams, likes the scheme. The franchise QB thing, though, that's hurting us with him. So we'll see how that goes. Um, just type in traded wide receiver Philip Dorsett to Broncos for wide receiver Marquez Callaway. And Dorset, I believe it's 3073. I think that's his, uh, yeah, 3073. All right, I think we won that trade. I like Callaway. He's younger, you know, if we sign him, he'll probably be better than, you know, um, Dorset. So, I was happy, you know, I was able to do that in real life. That's kind of cool. At least we can't say Madden's too unrealistic now. Now you have Marcus Callaway joining the team. Uh, what about slot receiver? What's that looking like right now? So I bet Callaway's pretty good in the slot. He is. You know what? I'm going to have him right there. Callaway's pretty solid in the slot. So. There we go. But also, we're going back to, the fr to our normal thing here. We do have... An injury to talk about. Dylan Parham, Torn Labrum, out for four games. That hurts their line a little bit. That's definitely the depth. Like, the depth is going to hurt. Mm -hmm. Uh... Uh, so, but at least we get Darren Butler back, you know, so, could be worse. I'm just looking at some. Uh, okay, well, we're just going to go to the next week then, because Darren Butler's back in, you know, the linebacker position, which is great for us. So we definitely needed that. Uh, let me just go over here, go back to the depth rocks. I do have it on, um, what's the word for it? Manual. So, uh... Why are you? Why is your morale down, Jimmy G? You had an alright game. I know you lost, but I mean, it wasn't great. But still. Yeah, Butler's there. And Spillane's down morale. Okay, we have, we have some morale issues we need to talk about, guys. All right, so now we got, yeah, definitely passing with Josh Allen. That's for sure. I'm not going to test with Javius White. I'm not doing it. Hmm. So you deal out the 40 deep yards, which I'm not really going to you know, bank on that. But he's allowed 99 short yards, which that might be the answer here. And they're going to blitz us too much. All right, well, start training, everybody. Alright. Uh, any injuries? Uh, 
Uh, we have a back straight into Merig. Damn it. Okay, so Merig's out. I didn't look at the uh, other side, but now I can. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Merig. Oh, yep. We won't have our long snapper. That hurts the most. We don't have a long snapper. Oh my god. That's gonna that's gonna be tough for us. I can't believe our long snapper got injured. That's a first for me. Uh long snapper, Jacob, Bowen Myers out. The shoulder strain. If he was had a two week injury, I was gonna put him in IR. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's only one week though. But if he had two week or like a broken finger, I would probably put him in IR. So I could get that roster space. Alright, well, this is what it is. All right, we're going to take a look at the uh, Bills roster a little bit here. All right, take a look at the Bills. They have Josh Allen. Uh, let, they have Leonard Fournette and Damian Harris. They got a decent run game going on. Not the greatest, but decent. Diggs, Gabe Davis, Hardy, Shakir, and Shorter. Knox and Caden Davidson are playing. Uh, Deion Dawkins. Kind of McGovern, Mitch Morris, Ryan Bates, and Zach Tom. It's so starting at. Look at Zach Tom from Green Bay. Oh. Huh. Have to take a look at the transactions. Uh, Greg Rousseau, Leonard Floyd, Von Miller, AJ Panessa, Ed Oliver, Puna Ford, Tim Settle, Marquise Hayes. Rashawn Evans signed with them. We got Dorian Williams, Tyrell Dodson, Ben Spector, Matt Milano, Davis White, Tarrant Johnson, Kyrie Elam, Micah Hyde, uh, Jordan Poyer. They have a pretty solid team. The Bills always do. How far they go, that's up for question, but they're going to compete with you. So, first, let's look at some transactions. I want to see what's going on around the league. I might do this like, before stream, like any like notable things I'll show them, but there's nothing notable, I'll just let it go. I do see some trades going on, so. Jesus. Okay, let's see. Charlie Heck got cut for Lucas Patrick on Houston. Carlos cut Billy Price with John Feliciano. Broncos released Essang Basie for Will Jackson III. Bears cut Mitch Wisnowski for Mo Hurst. Rams cut Brandon Williams for Al Woods. Wow. Browns cut Rodrigo Blankenship for Marlon Davidson. 49ers cut Joseph Charlton for Louis Gilman. Steelers signed uh, Michael Carr to the practice squad. Cardinals released two hill for Blankenship. Jags signed Chris Dunn to the practice squad. Packers released Ty Tyler Goodson for Lawrence Guy. Chris Keith Copeland got cut for Tyquan Lewis. Justin Evans got cut for Chauncey Golston. Wow, Eagles signed the Division Rivals player. 49ers released Javon Kinlaw. Yo. If Kinlaw's still available, I mean, we might be making a signing real quick. I like Javon Kinlaw. Uh, I think uh, Marcus Golden, Rosebaum got cut for Kaiser White. That's a pretty good signing. I think I forgot Kaiser White was a free agent. I thought he would have made a move. Tack McKinley got cut from Mitch Ronowski. Bill Cox got put the squad. Ethan Evans got signed to the Cowboys from another team practice squad. Um, Giants cut Adam Gatsas for Trey Flowers. They also cut Josh Wells for Calvin, Calvin Beecham. Falcons signed uh, Ogan Denji and Jameson Crowder. Packers trade Zach Tom to the Bills for Taylor Rapp. And the Bills also got a 7th and 2 7th round picks. Alright, that's the first time I've seen the, the uh, third year trade pick get moved. Packers also cut Jonathan Owens and signed Jake Witt. He's released Kayshawn Boot. Huh. That's that's a move. That's definitely a uh, that's a move. Who, who's the best available quarterbacks? Matt Ryan, Nick Foles, a bunch of old guys got. Max McKinnon, Foreman, Murray, Kenyon Drake, Joe Henderson, Boston Scott. 
No fullbacks are available. I just want to see what is um. He's a six overall. Wait, I'm that Brad's squad. Not even joking. So what does his ratings look like? Eight speed, that's decent. Not excel. Good catching. He's working on his route running. Decent release. Um. I mean, he's solid. I mean, he's not great, but he's solid. Definitely needs to get some of his stuff up, but. Yeah, I'll sign him. Definitely second with the, you know, the Patriots over here, but. Uh, who else is available? Like, middle linebacker. Oh, Malik Harrison. That's an option. We have an injury to the middle linebacker spot, like big one. I may bring him in. Our defensive tackles. Yeah, Javon Kinlaw and Kevin Givens are available. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, I don't really need. Hmm. How's Adam Butler doing, stat wise? Yo, we might be making some roster changes coming in a week, too. I mean... I mean, he doesn't fit the scheme, though. That's my big thing with him. He doesn't fit our scheme. He's going to be our best overall player, but... He's kind of close, though, but... Hmm. We only had one tackle last game. I might move him. If I can get a trade for him, I might take it. Anyone want him? Nobody wants him. Okay. Except, you know, I th don't think that's really working right now because I yet to put a prospect up that's got an offer. So let's take a look around the league. Who might want him? To 71. Chargers might, but I don't want to trade him to a division rival. Uh. Falcons, but I already traded a play to the Falcons, so let's take a look elsewhere. The Giants are option. Yeah, Jags are probably a good choice. Let's see, what do your draft picks look like? I want to see how far we are from a fourth round pick. Like, how far are we? Cause I doubt this goes through. Okay, so they are willing to move him. We'll say there is some interest. Let's go to around five. So at this point, I might be able to get done with like a round six, maybe a seven. Try the uh, six. Yep, there we go. And Butler's now Jaguar. I am making some moves. Uh, traded defensive tackle Adam Butler. 49, 71, two Jaguars for a round six pick. I'll take it. At least we're giving us some of the older guys, bringing some youth. That's what I want. And now I am going to sign Divine Kinlaw. Or or Kevin Givens. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna take a look at the stats and the compare. There we go. So speed, Kinlaw wins. Excel, Kinlaw wins. Agility, Kinlaw wins. Strength, Givens wins. Awareness, Givens wins. Uh there's a lot of diff- they're pretty even, honestly. Not worry about coverage. Okay, what's their injuries looking like? Okay, yeah, Kinlaw's an injury prone as hell. But Givens is pretty good with that. He's got higher toughness, more stamina, more strength. Kevin Givens might be getting signed instead of Kinlaw. I like Kinlaw, but stats are kind of telling me right now I should probably- I should go Givens. Though he does have a lot more acceleration, which I'm not really too worried about that, but he can definitely move around the pocket. Let's see, what's his uh, block shedding? Tackling, hit power, pursuit. Um, Kimmins might be the better guy to sign, honestly. 
I almost want to flip a coin. Like, this is close to me. All right. I'm flipping a coin on the you know, coin flip uh, thing on Google. Heads were going Givens. Tails were going Kinlaw. Let's flip. It's heads. We're going Kevin Givens. Time defensive tackle. Kevin Givens. Welcome to the team, Kevin. Can I not sign him? He's over the salary cap, really. Kevin over the salary cap. Ah, oh, bruh. Come on now. You know what? Let's, um... That's so fucking stupid. Alright, let's take a look. Um, need McCreary, you know, cut. I don't really need you anymore. Who can I just hear, man? Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, Kayshawn Boot, we going to the practice squad. Hey, the chickens outside making noises. That's always fun. All right. So now I have a roster space available. Kayshawn Boots on the practice squad. What's this going to look like? All right. So free agents. Can I sign them now? So if I can't, I might have to restructure a deal or two. Because <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm disrestricted, there's an issue. Um, there we go. Kevin Givens. I... Right. Bruh. How am I disrestricting cast space that I can't sign a five hundred thousand dollar player? Uh this is like a like half hour to me just like trying to figure this out. Alright, who's gonna get a restructure? Colton Miller. Let's talk about restructure. Okay, let's see. Holy hell. $46 million restructure in 2020. Oh. That. That would blow. Can I restructure Marcus Peters? <laughs> no. I tried. Ah, uh, fuck. Chandler, can I restructure you? Nope. Jimmy G, how about you? Can I restructure you? Let's see. Alright, so I have about 43 million cash base next year after this restructure. I think 15 million dollars this year. So, I don't, but I don't know if I'm going to keep him next year, though. I don't know if I'm going to be signed like a good quarterback. Uh, how about Devontae? Honestly? Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, I may restructure. I, I freed up some money. You know, I freed about $4 million up. I think that's good enough. Good restructure with Devontae. So we'll see what happens in the offseason. That should be interesting. Might have to pull a Saints and do a lot of restructuring, but Cap is a myth after all. Alright, Kevin Givens. We got Kevin Givens, okay. Jesus, that took me a half hour of me just you know talking, man. Um, let's see here. Death chart. Now they got to make the move. I'll do all the writing afterwards. So I'm not going to waste too much more time. Uh, defensive tackles. Yeah, he's down here. Yeah, his morale's up. He's all happy to be here. He's like ready to go. He's going to be the defensive tackle too for now. And perfect. He's going to fit this spot perfectly. There we go. New defensive tackles in. We made some moves. Got some cat space done. 
I'll read about the jersey and stuff later. I'll figure all that out. He's probably going to keep 92. That looks pretty good on him. But let's just get jump in the game already. 20 minutes of transaction and stuff. I mean, that might be boring, but it is important to, to the team. Uh, this is not a primetime game, so I would not be adjusting the jerseys too much. They're against the Steelers. We do have a primetime game, so we'll see how that goes. Well, hi, Mark Stadium with Buffalo Bills. All right, finally, you can jump in. All right, we're kicking off. There we go. What's your movies made in the first 20 minutes of this, this stream? It took 25 minutes to get to game time. That's a record for me. All right, so let me think. A game lasts about 45 minutes. All right. About an hour and five minutes stream we're looking at, so that's fine. About an hour, hour five, hour ten. And that's a tackle after a three yard gain, and we have an injury. Deion Dawkins is going down to the ground. And he's heading to the locker room. Hand off. Singletary. No, Singletary's not on the team anymore. That's uh, Fournette. He just has Singletary's number. Okay, so 26 is Fournette. Well, that Singletary's the Lions player now. Roger Allen drops. Pass complete to Gabe Davis. Tackled by... Who's 29? Is that Chris Smith? Yeah. He changed the number. That's Chris Smith. All right. And we got past the four net. And I get stopped up pretty quick for a gain of one. All right. Now Allen dropping back. Throws down the middle. That's going to be picked right off by Devon Diablo. And he makes it to the 35-yard line. Just setting us a good field position. Alright, great play by Diablo there. You know, we took a good loss last week. We gotta shake the roster up a little bit, and we did, so. Traded some guys, add some guys. I think we're still good. Alright, hand off to Jacobs. Get some blocking. Tries to get loose, but when he gets to the yard. Damn. All right. Jimmy G lined up. Got a fullback, running back out there, and two receivers. Looks like anti end. And he goes to Devontae, and that's a first down. That's 18. 15 yard catch. First down into the red zone now. Back to Josh Jacobs on the ground we go. He gets out. Set out four there. I thought he got five. But he's at four, second and six. Okay, Jimmy G, empty set, drops back. Looking around the pocket, throws. Hits on Michael Mayer for the first down. And there's an injured Michael Mayer. Damn. The rookie tight end is going down with the injury. See how he is later in the game. All right. Heavy set formation. We have, a, we have an O lineman playing tight end right now. That should tell you all you need to know. And Jacob gets stuck on the, his own O lineman. Tackled for a loss. Loss of two. Second goal now. Jimmy G drops back. Hooper's open. Hits Hooper. Gets it to the three yard line. Third and goal. Back. 
All right. Heavy set. Looks like we're running here. Jacob Johnson in motion. Clock hailing at the two. Hang off down the middle. Jacobs fighting through. Doesn't get it. It's fourth and one. Coach needs to make a big decision here. Do we go for it or do we take the points? And we're taking the points. I probably would have went for it. I would have went for it. Oh, not the coach. Josh McDaniels is. I trust our coach for right now. For now. Kick is up and takes the knee at the 25. All right. Raiders up 3 nothing in the first quarter. Josh Allen drops back, looks around, throws to a wide open tight end, Dawson Knox. He gets stopped up at the 33, 8 yard gain. Allen drops back. That pass is complete. No gain there. Third and two. Fournette did not get a single yard. Allen drops back again. This time throws and he's picked off again. Who's that? I think that's uh, Duke Shelley for the pick. Allen struggling early against his Raiders defense. That's the second pick. Raiders up at the, at the Bills 39. Excellent field position. Okay, punch in this go round though. To Jacobs, the handoff goes. There's a shake off there to Jacobs. Trying to run, bowing through. Gets to the 32 yard line. That's a seven yard gain. Second and three now. Play action to Jacobs. Those are the tight end, Austin Hooper, who drops it. Hooper also changed numbers to 81, so. Mayor is still now on the field. That should bring up some concern. Third and three, back to Jacobs. And he goes nowhere. No gain. Oh, so we're going for it now. Okay. And start maybe was out for the game. That's that's gonna hurt. You only have two tight ends. Oh never mind. It's a it was telling I should go for it, but the had different ideas. Alright. 39 49 yard attempt from Carlson and down the middle it goes. That's good. Raiders up six nothing now. We get points on the board, so at least we're doing that off the defenses, you know, amazing performance. Okay, stopped at the 21. Okay, Allen drops back in the pocket, throws to Stefan Diggs. Stopped at the 8 yard gain, 28 yard line. Second, two. With some potential, it looks like uh, there's an audible being called here. Big. Allen throws down the middle. That is caught. First down. Who is that? Shakir, I think. No, that's Deontay Hardy. I gotta get. I don't know the Bills roster that well. I gotta get used to it. All right. Allen drops back, throws deep, and that's broken up by Nate Hobbs. Great play there to end the first quarter. Knox had one, one on one, man on man. Hobbs won the battle by stopping early and taking a swing. I love that. Third 
third and ten. Josh Allen needs a big play here. Josh back, four man rush. Those deep to wide open Stephon Diggs who breaks free. Tackled by Christmas at the 23 yard line, the right side of the field. That was the play Josh Allen was waiting for. I don't know who dropped coverage there. I don't know what the hell just happened, but someone got lost in the shuffle. Josh Allen throws on the run. Bad away by Robert Spillane. Push it back up on me. Josh Allen. Second and 10. Quick pass to the tight end, and that is tackled by Nate Hobbs at the 17 yard line. And Chandler Jones goes down with the injury. So Tyree Wilson will be checking in. Alright, now comes the rush. Allen throws. That's complete to Stephon Diggs, and that's a touchdown. And just like that, Buffalo ties this game up. That is the danger of Buffalo. Josh Allen has a hell of an arm. Alright, kick is up, and it's good. Well, who takes the one point lead? 7 6 here in the second quarter. Raiders taking the end zone, takes a knee and go out to the 25. We gotta have some potential here, we just got to. Hey, Jimmy G now. Back, back in control and that passes to Josh Jacobs for about an 8 yard gain. Second and 2 now. Take what the defense gives you, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy calling an audible. He had a good play last time he did it in the last game. Time running out. Jimmy G drops back. Gets it to Josh Jacobs. Tries to battle through, but gets sworn. No game. He got sworn pretty quick. That was not great for us. All right, now he passes caught by Jesper Horstead. First down. He's hyping himself up for your game. Hey, move the sticks. That's what matters. They move the sticks. Hand off. Jacobs breaks free. Gets a first down run there. Gets it to the 49 yard line. That's a 12 yard run. Okay, Jimmy G now. Pump fakes. Those caught by Devontae Adams. Caught at the 30. Now he's injured. Oh, no. And there's a little bit of some talking shit there, but Devontae be going to the sideline with a limp. That hurts. That's going to hurt us. Jimmy G trying to make some hot routes. Play action. Booze. Caught by Renfro. First down at the 11-yard line. 19 yard catch. Jimmy G drops back. Quick pass, complete the Renfro, but he drops it. Damn. Second and 10 now. Can't get control. All right, Devontae's still not on the field. Goes to Jacobs. He gets nowhere. Gets game two. Third and eight. I'm going to check on Devontae's health real quick. I am getting worried. Hit pointer out for the quarter. That sucks, but it's not the worst thing. Also, Chandler Jones will be back in two quarters. So, you know, not the worst thing. But at least it's not your know, major injury. Third and eight, Jimmy G. Dropping back. Cooper's open, Jimmy. Throws the end zone. Incomplete. Kicking a field goal here, 25 yard attempt, and it's good. Murray's take the lead, 9 to 7 now.
At least we have a lead, but I want to see touchdowns. I'm tired of the field goals already. We have three of them. That's all we need. Touchdowns from now on. Uh, Hardy with a turn gets to the 23-yard line. Alright, Allen now. Hands off. Fournette. Shakes the man off and he's he's going. He's going. Tyree Wilson catches up with him and brings him down. Tackled at the 41. That's a hell of a run there. Allen drops back at the 41. Cart short pass. Oh, at least we were Duke Shelley was on that one. Only a one yard gain from that pass. Another short pass to Gabe Davis. And I get drugged by Marcus Peters pretty well. They're only a three yard gain. Third and six. Uh, we can stop here, I'll be happy. Allen drops back. Throws some pressure, throws deep, and that's when we caught. That's Gabe Davis for the first down there. Yeah, Allen, quick pass to Gabe Davis. Mark Spears and uh, Mad Max get the tackle after a four yard catch. Second six. Allen dropping back. Those over through his receiver completely incomplete. Third and six. Ben, but don't break. Ben, but don't break. Allen drops back. Raiders rush only three. Allen taking it himself. That's be a first down. Seven yard carry. And the Chargers are being Italians 21 to nothing. Not good for us. That pass is incomplete. Great tackle by Chris Smith. Forcing the pass break up. I love that. Chris Smith shows a lot of potential. Allen drops back. Short pass. Complete. Shakes off one guy. Gets tackled at 19. He shook off Chris Smith, but... It slowed him down. That was good enough for Mad Max to catch up with him. So it still worked in the end. Third and six. Allen. Motioning. Hands off. And he doesn't get it. Fourth and two. But they're going for it. If we can get a stuff here, I'll be happy. That's good to the tight end. First down. Time is now on both other side here. They're not using their timeouts, weirdly enough. They have all three. Goes to the end zone, and they get both feet down. Looks like he did. Damn. I want to see. I don't know if he got that. It looks like the, it's, not, it's not getting boost reviewed, though. All right, right here, he has possession. Oh, yeah, his toes dragged. Yep, he definitely has it. That's a touchdown. I can't bullshit the rest of screwing us because that's a legit touchdown. It only takes the lead back, 14 to 9. Warriors have two timeouts and 26 seconds to make a play here. Return goes to the one yard line. Tucker brings it out. Gets past the 20, breaks a little free, gets some yards, gets a 32. Good return there by Tucker. But only 21 seconds left. Jimmy G drops back. That's good to Josh Jacobs. Gets tackled at the uh, 43. Did he get out of bounds? He did? All right. Jimmy G drops back. 
There was a short pass complete. That's, he's not going to get out of bounds, but timeout used. I didn't even see who threw it to. He got to Tucker for a three yard catch. Those, that's good to Tucker. Call timeout. Use the timeout. There we go. We're going to try a field goal here. 54 yard to 10th about. See how this goes. And it's good. Four field goals for us so far. I am not happy about that, but at least we we got points on the board. That's what matters. We got points on the board. All right, they take the L, and that's gonna take us to halftime. We do get ball after half, so. We'll see how this goes. Takes it, he's gonna take out the end zone? He does. Tucker. Get some blocks, get to two to twenty-four. It's about where he would have been anyway. Alright, see so how this drive starts off. We need some points. Our preferred touchdown right now. This is the Jacobs. Has some blocks. Gets about maybe five or six. There he gets five. And Myers is now hurt. No. Devontae came back, but, but as soon as he did, Myers went down. Check down, complete the run try. That wasn't even a check down. That was a good short pass. I don't know why it's a check down. But he got it. That was an eight yard pass. Give or take. Jimmy G now. Goes in down the middle. And Tucker cannot hang on to the contact. He shouldn't have issued in the preseason in real life. And he just did it again here. Where he was going empty. Tucker gets put on his ass. But Devontae catches it. Third and inches. Okay, two Jacobs, that's the first down. Well, long as you move the chains. Come on, come boys. Move the chains. Jimmy G throws short to Hooper. That's game four. I'll say AI Jimmy G plays a lot like real Jimmy G. Handoff, Jacobs goes down the middle, flying through, gets the first down, breaks through, gets the 30, 14 yard run. A lot of short passes, you know, let the receivers do the work. He plays a lot like real Jimmy G. Jimmy G throws, gets the Hooper. Hooper gets eight yards there on the catch, second and two. All right, and now hand off to Jacobs. Has Jacob Johnson trying to block, and it gets two there, but not a first down. Third and inches. Hand off to Jacobs again. Didn't get, but didn't get the first. Go for it, man. Please go for it. We're going for it. Fourth and inches. We need the spark. Heavy set to the Jakob Johnson. Gets the first down, then some. Five yard run there. First down. You get into the red zone finally. So happy we went for it. I was waiting for it. Gives it to Jacobs. Battling through. Gets about three there. Von Miller on the Buffalo goes down. The injury. All right, Jimmy G, lined up. Come on, we need, we need a good touchdown here. Hand off, Jacobs. He's getting stuffed and loses a yard. Okay, Tucker's got man coverage on him. Just, if Tucker can break loose, throw right to him. 
Oh, Devontae's making a move. Move the change, Jimmy. No! Oh. No! And Oliver sacks Jimmy G. We gotta go back to the field goals. Fuck. 44 yard attempt. It's good. And the Raiders take the lead 15 14. We have not been able to cover Gabe Davis. He's caught every pass coming in the way. All right. Allen drops back, throws down the middle. That is caught and hard hit there by Divine Diablo. Four yard gain. We have five field goals today. It feels like back in the old days when Janikowski was our only bit of offense. That's how it feels. Third and three. We need stuff here. Allen drops back. Nice and complete. All right. Good stop. Good stop. Three and out for the Buffalo. Actually, was it three now? I don't know. It don't matter. We got the ball back in the end. Jake Ellis has been struggling today. He's not been, you know, great. But he's come through in some plays. But Jimmy G now. Making, having Devontae move. Those misses Trey Tucker completely there. Incomplete. Second and ten. That's just that's all he was going for, a smart play, but just not a good pass. And that's caught by Devontae, who shakes off the defender, breaks a little loose, gets the 47. Devontae, he is doing pretty well today. Alright. Play action. Jimmy. God damn it, Jimmy. That's on pocket awareness. Second and 23 now. Misses the guy, his receiver completely. Third and 23. Good to rely on Jimmy G deep ball. Don't, Jimmy, just fucking throw it, man. All right, and we're going to the fourth quarter. We're up by one point. We got a punt here. They just fucking throw it, Jimmy. Even the check down, at least you go positive yardage. Just get, do some. Great punt. And we stop him at 24. Okay, here we go. Josh Allen. 24 yard line. We need to stop him. Those. Stephon Diggs incomplete. And he hops in the pass breakup, looks like. If we can get a punt, I'll be happy here. We can make a punt. To Fournette it goes, and he shakes off a bunch of defenders, but gets stopped by Epps after a four-yard gain. And Buffalo side, Mitch Morse goes down with the injury. Third and third, Scott Nigeria brings some pressure here. Four-man rush. 
Allen gets hit as he throws, but he's going deep all the way, and he misses the receiver completely. He's looking for Diggs, and Nate Hobbs stayed with him. He slowed it down, so great defensive play by Nate Hobbs. He slowed down the process. Got a return with a lane. Tucker gets to the 39. All right, Jimmy G now lined up at the 39-yard line. Renfro in motion. Jacob Myers is not back out there. That pass is complete to Jacobs. First down to the 49. All right. On both sides of the field. Jimmy G drops back, throws to Hooper, complete. That's the first down, then some. Gets to 33. That would be a 16-yard catch. Devontae said man, man to man. He's dangerous in that. But he goes to Jacobs and gets a two yard run. Okay, second eight at the Buffalo 31. It's now or never. Jacobs. Good run. Shakes off a defender. That's a first down. Down at 20. That would be an 11 yard carry. Play action to Zamir White. Those that is complete. The Kobe Myers touchdown. We got a touchdown. I almost forgot what they looked like. But we got a we got a touchdown. That's what matters. The extra point is being kicked, and we have a 18, eight point lead. That is gonna be a ma that's major. Getting a touchdown is major for us. Or defense can hold, we might be able to get a W here, which will be an upset. I, I mean, hold as a stop, I'm not getting penalties. God, don't get penalties. Out comes Josh Allen now. First and 10 at the 22 yard line. Allen dropping back, three man rush. Those two is running back for net, tackled by Shelley after a five yard game. Just keep stopping behind the sticks. That's what matters. Keep stopping behind the sticks. Allen calling an audible. Looks like he's flipping the play a little bit. Allen getting some pressure, throws wide open Gabe Davis, brought down by Nate Hobbs. First down, Buffalo. That is not what I was looking for. At all. Like, at all. Allen now. With a 46 on the right side of the field. Those. Pass breakup. Good by, by uh, Marcus Peters. Second and 10 now. Allen drops back. Those incomplete. No, he actually, he caught that? All right, I thought that was incomplete to Gabe Davis, but he caught it. Third and four. Raiders blitz, and Josh Allen misses his receiver. Big play coming up. Do they take the field goal, or are they going for it? They're going for it. This might be game on the line point right here. The Raiders can get a play here. Raiders blitz. Put the for net, and they stop him behind the sticks. Raiders ball. Marcus Peters and Robert Spillane stops for net. They blitzed the two corners on, on uh, Allen. Wow, I'm surprised that worked as well as it did. Run the ball. Drain that clock. Jacobs has it. One yard gain. Chew the clock. Do not snap that ball to like one second left. Train as much clock as you can. Jacobs now goes down the middle, playing through. Get, all right, I'll take it. Get six. Third and three. 
Just Amir White, we go. Does it get? He got the first down. This dude's his first carry of the game. Get the first down. Back to Jacobs. Has a little bit of running room. Breaks loose. It gets to the Buffalo 27. I mean, more points than the boy will steal the deal. So I'm down. Even just a field goal will seal the deal. To Jacobs. Plays through. Has now over 100 yards at that six yard carry. Second and four, and that'll be the two minute warning. Okay, second and four. Jimmy G. Hands off to Jacobs, does not get the first down. Third and four, no gain. First down will probably end the game here. Jimmy G, G passing, possibly the last time in the game. Went out of the pocket, sacked, as expected. 49 yard field goal attempt from Carlson. And it's good. That will probably seal the deal here in Buffalo. Great play. All right, and then 146 left on the clock. Buffalo has one timeout. Allen drops back. Those complete short pass to uh, Fournette. Stopped at 26 by Spillane's, uh Chris Smith. That's a first down for Gabe Davis, but Spillane gets a hard tackle. Allen run no huddle. First down, 110 on the clock. Those, that is complete to Deviante Hardy to the Raiders 35 yard line. Allen dropping back again. That's good to find Diggs, but no pass breakup there. Marcus Epps comes with the big play. Second and 10 out to Raiders 35. Come on, guys. They, Allen throws. That is broken up by Duke Shelley. He's had a hell of a game today. Allen now. Calling audible. Hands it off. Throws. That is broken up by... Uh, that's Nate Hobbs. Another great game from him today, too. They're kicking a field goal? Really? I mean... Guess it puts you into a one score game. You got big you got line the onside kick, but And now Nichols gets hurt, of course. Alright, onside kick. We recover, the game is over. It's ours. Hunter Renfro recovers it and we get the game. First W for the season. It was against Buffalo. A playoff team. We finally beat. Take a knee. Buffalo uses their last time out. This knee will end the game. It's over. Handshakes in the middle of field time. It's all done. Five, four, three, two, one. We win. Oh, why I want to see them back to 500. Yep. Sean McDermott is not happy about losing to Josh McDaniels and the Raiders. 25-17. And, and we got to win. That's what matters, right? It may not have been, you know, clean. A lot of field goals. But wins a win. Take a look at some quick player stats before we head out. Jimmy G, good day. 925, 214, thanks for and a touchdown with a 114 QBR. Jacobs, solid day, 100 yard day. I'll take it. 
receiving. Devontae got 68 yards. Hooper got 32. Drake got 31. Ryan Fair 30. A sack, so Lumi allowed two. Not great. But Marcus Peters and Duke Shelley had the most tackles upon the team. Peters had the only tackle for loss. We had no sacks. We got to work on that. Diablo and Shelley had, had interceptions. Honestly, I think Duke, Shell, Duke Shelley is player of the game. That's my opinion. I think he's player of the game. But yeah, as we're going to end the stream, guys, thank you very much for showing up. I'm, I appreciate it. I really do. Back tomorrow with... I don't know what we're going to do. I will be streaming Saturday, though. As they promised. Saturday will be with streaming. There might be... Uh, I'm going to do multiple games, honestly. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Have a good day, everybody.